How's it going guys? I'm your host Carbon Gaming. Welcome back to another Nostalgia Quest episode. And for today's episode, we'll be doing two separate loose quests. So they are not really part of any sagas of or any series. So the first one will be from the Zard Hunter shop. So let's go inside the shop. Other quests mock Zard. And let's see what we have. What's wrong, Zat Hunter? Sniff, sniffle, snot. Uh, what was that again? <laughs> Crikey, I don't know what came over me, mate. I've had a rough go of it today. I never thought it would come to this, but I think I need to retire. What? Why? I lost a fight to the Zat Master for the first time. I, I can't go on. Oh, really? You lost a fight to a Zat Master. That's why you have to retire? Seriously? Oh, Zat Hunter, I'm so sorry. You lost a fight? You've got to be kidding. One fight? You can't give up after losing a single battle. The war still goes on. If you give up, who is going to continue standing the Zard Master's way? You? <clears throat> no way, I won't do it. Not if you give up. So how do you lose to him? He created a beast unmatched by any other known to nature. It was a blooming horror mate. What the heck is this? Artwork. Zard Hunter sounds like he comes from Australia. Get a hold of yourself, man. <laughs> Wait, did he just slap him? Crikey, thanks mate, I needed that. <laughs> Take my losing battle out of your mouth. <laughs> oh man. Oh, Will Smith memes, man. <laughs> well, was the BC mate? It was a Mozart. Oh, that sounds cute, silly. It was anything but cute. It would have eaten my face if I hadn't managed to escape. Crikey, I get a shivers just thinking about it. I think Zard Master is going to use Mock Zards to be the base of a new army. What makes these things so tough? It has the ferocity of a mother Zard combined with a constant regeneration of its health. The only way I can imagine defeating it would be to overwhelm its healing ability as quickly as possible. Well then, I'll tell you what. It sounds like all you need is a little help and I'm just the person for the job. Let's go stop Zard Master's plan together. Lead the way. Hmm, always fighting Zards, these, those two. You should figure out a way to help them, to show them that Zards can be helpful in their battles against bad guys too. Come on, let's go talk to Yuga. The Zard Master was just east of Darkovia when his mock Zard had a go at me. Who knows what be beasties he sent to chase me to battle on. This could be a challenge to wrangle him. It's okay, we'll go by ourselves. Uh, Fire Zard. Okay, these are slightly underleveled monsters. So, should be a piece of cake. Let's go into my Doomlight Armor. Alright, let's get this started. Turn on the Aura, summon my Essence of Carnage. Alright, so that should do it. <coughs> Oh no, we don't need ally assist. By the way guys, I am thinking of doing a uh, new players or beginning players guide. I know I have plenty of guide videos out there already, but still there are a lot of like, uh, I realize there are a lot of new or returning players who came back to the game, have no idea what to do, and of course they don't, uh, like, understandably so, and they are, like, basically struggling against basic battles, simply because of how poor the level scaling are. So I'm thinking of doing that guide, but again, I will kind of want to wait till, like, the stat changes come out first, because that is going to change a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, I did ask Holo regarding the stat changes, and the previous update that we got was that it presumably was supposed to come out by the end of April, but it's already mid-May, and uh, he did reply me recently, like just last week on the forums, he said that they are in the middle of implementing stuff already, and right now what they have planned is that they are planning to nerf dexterity and giving strength a bit of a uh, buff. Okay, so I'm excited to see how that works out. They're also reworking the whole blocking formula, so that is going to be quite big for dodge lash characters. Okay, so right now, uh, it is impossible to play dodge lash without dexterity, so I don't know how they are going to change it, but hopefully they change it such that you no longer uh, need dexterity for blocking and... 
with the I'll probably showcase that in the dodge slash aspect of this build. I know so far for this series all I've been doing is using backlash but uh, as with all the nostalgia quest seasons each season I focus on like a different build and this season is going to be the backlash build. I know I already did the dodge slash build last season but I'll probably go through the dodge slash uh, build again if there's enough interest once the new stat changes hit. Okay, so I am thinking that most likely it is going to get a nerf because Dodge Lash uh, is just ridiculously strong. The fact that you can damage your enemies while making them deal basically no damage to you at all and basically avoiding every single effect or mechanic that they have. Yeah, I do think that that needs to be changed a little bit, but uh, we'll see how that works out. In my opinion, I feel like what they could do inside of Adventure Quest is they make it something similar to Dragon Fable, have the effects like auto hit whether or not uh, the attacks land on you. So for Adventure Quest, the attacks need to land most of the time, unless it's something that doesn't do damage. But we haven't seen bosses that use abilities that don't do damage, but just inflict of effects of, on you, at least from what I remember we don't. So yeah, maybe they could do like auto hit effects on the... Uh, make monsters have some auto hit effects or something like that to counter the power of dodge slashing and <laughs> i know it's going to be ironic me saying this because i do enjoy the dodge slash build very much but yeah i feel that it does need a little bit of a change crikey zap master's base was right here he must have moved everything i hear something moving under our feet oh dexterity check just as i was talking about it excellent guys look at my awesome luck wow we actually avoided falling into a nest of undead zats that really zap master now, which way? If I'm right, Zapmaster will need to set up his base deep in Green Guard for us. It's the one place on Lord that is most magically in tune with Mogling Kai, and he'll need that magic to nourish his new army. Back to Green Guard we go. So actually, I have a lot of like video ideas scheduled and lined up mostly for challenge fights. Uh, but I am holding off on doing them because, you know, like I said since the start, I am still waiting for the set changes to hit. So yeah, unfortunately right now, I apologize if all you guys are getting is just Nostalgia Quest episodes week after week. I know not everyone is going to enjoy these. Some people enjoy seeing something different once in a while. Same goes for me. Like, uh, I would prefer to see something special, something different every once in a while. But, but I promise you, once the, uh, what do you call it, the set changes come out, yeah, there'll be plenty of videos as long as I get enough time. Hopefully I do. Alright. And let's see. More Zarts. Uh, this, this is a pretty long quest. That's why I didn't do it in the previous episode. Otherwise, we have made the episode a little too long. And with the new season, I'm trying to keep the episodes within like 30 minutes or something if possible. I know previous seasons... Some episodes have stretched to like close to an hour long, uh, usually 40 minutes, 45 minutes. But I know not everybody has the attention span to watch like long videos on top of it being not so great for the algorithm. Uh, that's one selfish reason of mine to be very honest with you guys. But uh, more importantly, the main reason is nobody really likes watching long videos like uh, for me especially as like if it's not like a special like guide video or something like that yeah I, I wouldn't have the attention spent to sit around watching an episode for like uh 45 minutes 30 minutes is even stretching it <laughs> in my opinion but yeah also I think it will make the episodes more interesting if I like more funny edits and all that kind of stuff but you guys know I am doing daily uploads and it is impossible to have you know, amazing edits for every single video I put out. Obviously, I'm not making anywhere near enough to hire a video editor, but uh, we are growing quite well. Okay, uh, growth has indeed slowed down this year because of certain things, but it is what it is. Uh, we are still growing nonetheless, and we did cross 2,500 subscribers recently, so very, very thankful for that. And as long as we keep growing, maybe one day I'll have enough money to hire a video editor and you guys will get even higher quality videos. Of course, it is every YouTuber's dream to, uh, one, obviously be able to turn it into a full job, and two, uh, constantly improve the quality of their videos. Like, if you guys compare the videos I have today, uh, with the videos that I had, like, five, six, seven years ago, yeah, the quality difference is just huge. I mean, of course, uh, there are technological improvements throughout these years also, so I guess it's only normal for video quality to go up. Right, Ted Zart. Yeah, wow, these are a whole lot of battles. How many more battles are there? 
I actually don't know. Oh, HP is a bit low. Okay, got a full heal. Ha ha ha, you're too late. I have, I now have two mock Zards, male and female, and soon my army will be reborn. I, I, what's the matter, Zard Hunter? Scared? Ha ha ha. I don't know if I can do this alone, Zard Hunter. Snap out of it. There are two of them now. One for each of us. Look, you need to fight your fear. I'll take one and a half of them if you take what's left. You got it, mate. One and a half? How do you take one and a half? Uh, okay. <laughs> Mock Zard. Oh, it's a Mogli and Zard. Mix together a Mogli, a Zard, and some Elf Magic. You get a Mock Zard. This one is male and hits a good bit harder than the female. Okay. So the males hit harder. Am I assuming the females have more tankiness? Let's see. This one is female and can last longer and better than the male. Yep, I am absolutely correct. Okay, so by right, we should not be killing this thing. Uh, we should take it down to about one and a half. <laughs> to about the last quarter of his HP and like maybe let the uh, Zat Hunter come in and deal with it. Come on, Zat Hunter. It's your turn to shine. No? What happened to one and a half and half? <laughs> you did it. You overcame your fear and we beat the Zat Master again. <clears throat> ah. Uh, now who is going to be brave enough to take care of this handsome little guy? Okay, that was the end of that quest. <laughs> Come on. Weapons. Zart Salvo. More charismatic, you are the fiercer the little guys become. Ooh, is this a charisma based weapon? Interesting. Uh, Mock Zart G. Okay, uh, alright. On to the next quest. The next quest is the Transporter Quest from Wallach's Shop. So let's go over to the meat shop. Uh, Quesus. Delivery to the Ren. Where is it? There we are. <coughs> so these are still the old style Quesus, as you can see from Badon's artwork. Came out very, very early on in the olden days of AQ. Carbon, remember when I gave you the smelly sock of doom and you said you owed me one? Yeah, I don't remember it exactly that way. I've got another one around here somewhere. Would you like to smell it again? Okay, that's a weird question to ask. <laughs> if you're going to put it like that, I guess I do remember it your way. What do you need? I need a package taken to Duran for the new temple that's being constructed. Normally, I'll deliver it myself, but I've been called away on important wizardly business. The package contains an extremely valuable and rather powerful gemstone. Couldn't you just teleport there? Your wizard wallet? <laughs> I can't just hand it over to any old courier, and due to the nature of its power, it can't be transported by uh, normal methods. I need someone to actually travel with it across law by foot and who will guard it with their life and death. Gee, I can't wait. Now, where did I leave that other sock? I mean, sure, Wallet, I'll be glad too. Oh, come on. If you put it that way, here it is. Remember, it must be kept safe and delivered to King Charlie at the palace in Duran, no matter how many times your life is threatened. No matter how many deadly battles you face, no matter how thin a thread your life hangs by, no matter. Okay, okay, I get a picture. <clears throat> I don't know what Wallet was so worried about. There hasn't been a speck of trouble so far, or should I say a fleck? Uh oh, looks like I spoke too soon. As always, we jinxed ourselves, but... Uh, usually for these kind of quests, it's something very stupid inside the package. Like, it's probably something for them to make their coffee or something like that. <laughs> I don't know why, but uh, older questers, like, they like to put in a lot of jokes and puns, something like that. Like, you know, very, very light-hearted, so it's usually not something very important. But we'll see at the end of the quest. Let's see if I'm right or wrong. That's my guess. What do you What do you guys think it could be? Leave your comments down below. Don't skip ahead in the video. Leave it down below. What do you think the item could be? Do you think it's something actually important or it's something... Completely useless and uh, he's just saying that so we'll be careful. <laughs> okay, let's see. Uh, Deathwood. Ooh, nice. Love that attack. Lots of backlash damage. Oh, his heal again. Yeah, that's annoying. Oh, heal again. Darn it. His MP skill. Okay, he should kill himself. Let's see. Nice. Let's 
74 dexterity. Oh. God. Darn it. Oops, a daisy. Okay. Alright, uh this one is this the old or the new style? Cause we got the old bad on artwork, but for some reason we got roles that are able to be defied. So usually for roles that are able to be defied, they are newer stout quests because in the olden days, yeah, you just had to rely purely on RNG and if RNG just hits you, you could be stuck there re-rolling the darn thing for like 2-3 hours. Okay, uh, yes, lag. Come on, stop lagging. Darn it. Come on, get on with it. Nice. Okay, next. Deary. And can we kill it? Lucky Shack? No? Okay, I guess it's gonna kill itself. He's gonna turn into a darkness beast and kill himself in one hit. Yep, there we are. <coughs> we. That, glad that's over and I think I see Crow Spot there through the trees. Oh, you don't have to reroll again. Okay, nice. You just need to do some battles. Hey, you. Hey, you know of any ships departing for the Ren soon? Sure. Well, will you tell me which ones? Oh, I don't think you're going to care one way or another in a few minutes. Why is that? Because you'll be dead. Lay random assassin pops out of nowhere and wants to take our life. Number one. Do they even know we have the package? Number two. Are they even after the package? Number three. Why are they attacking us out of nowhere if they don't know if we have anything valuable on us? Are they just like common robbers or... Hmm. The assassin is fa this assassin is fairly well trained. Is he, your com is he your competition? No, he is not. Most definitely not. Tell me why you attacked me. Never. Tell me or I'll... Oh, alright. Oh, that was quick. I didn't even have to threaten you with anything. I used to just be, be cannon fodder. I've been promoted, but old habits die hard. Got it. Okay, now tell me why you attacked me. A mysterious stranger in a dark cloak and hood told me to. Oh, yeah. The standard typical plot device, of course. Grown, I should have known. Yep, he just told me to make sure I grab the package you were carrying. Oh, okay. So he does know about the package. And I'll get a nice sack full of gold for my trouble. Well, that's interesting. Someone knows about the package and sent two assassins to try and get it from me, eh? Go back and tell your boss that he'll have to try harder than a bumbling assassin to get this package away from me. Hey, I represent that remark. Sorry, just saying. Anyway, you said there was a ship departing for the rent today. I tried to kill you and you're going to trust me to recommend a ship to you? You both already know what I can do to you if you try to trick me. Good point. Take the founder. She's leaving in about, about 5 minutes. Better run. Of course, that trick only works if you survive the voyage. Hehe. <laughs> oh, okay, so what? Do they have sea monsters planned? No, oh, pirates, okay. Give us that packet you're carrying, hero, or me and my gang will cut your liver out and feed it to the Kraken. Anchor hand. So they sent both pirates and ninjas after us. Anchor hand grew up in Crowsport and was employed as a human tugboat for a while. Before becoming a pirate and losing his hand to a Bracken. Big, dumb, and mean. And yes, this guy has a whole bunch of. HP, like over 6,000. Hits decently hard too, but uh, our earth resistance is 70%, so that's that. Endurance 225, no wonder. Uh, we are doing good damage to him. I think he should go down next turn. Oh, come on. He did the one hit instead of the two hit. Red liver. Red Liver is a pirate who cares only about one thing, himself. He'll do whatever it takes, including stabbing a fellow pirate in the back. Too bad. Uh, how is he doing that? That makes no sense. You you literally can't be on the floor singing that thing. <laughs> well, I guess I showed those guys who's king of the seas. Uh, nope. This is the king of the sea. <laughs> Deep Sea Bracken. 6,000 Naira. Oh, it does water damage. Right? This should be good. Powerful sea creature, many of which are tamed by the Myrmazons and used as beasts of war. This one is far stronger due to living at the darkest depths of the briny deep. Watch out, this thing can drain your magic points. It's dead. 
Wait, cut off a tentacle for later. Oh, did I? Strange, I didn't accept that quest, but I guess you just get it anyway. Oh no, good thing I took those swimming lessons after I failed to talk like a pirate day quiz. Oh, nice. References to talk like a pirate day. Uh, yes, vagrants. And the reason why we are breathing underwater is be we are able to breathe underwater is because back in the old days when everything was on a single timeline, uh, Badon was supposed to be five years after the events of Dragon Fable. Right now they are on separate timelines. So yeah, if you guys watch through my Let's Play Dragon Fable series, you will know that very early on when we are doing the win op, uh, we, aka the hero, was the one who actually spilled all the a whole bunch of water breathing ocean uh, potions into the ocean. So much so that you are basically able to breathe underwater throughout anywhere in the world. So yeah. Who is creating a disturbance down here under the sea? Hey Aquila, it's just me. A Kraken attacked the ship I was in and I got dumped in the sea. Then I got attacked by two water monsters. Sorry about a disturbance. Oh, it's just you, Karban. Or should I say your highness? <laughs> you heard about that king of the sea crack, huh? It was just a joke. And not much of one at that. Look, I need to get to the rank. Can you help me out? I think I might have a giant turtle or two around here that isn't booked. Wait, hold on a minute. So, that didn't that package get wet or anything? I mean, Wallach didn't say anything about how the package couldn't come into contact with water, so... Well, well, that was an interesting ride. But the sun's going down now and it's still a ways inland to the palace. I think I'll call it a night right here. I hate to admit it, but after all this trouble to bring this stupid housewarming gift... Wait, it's a housewarming gift? See, I told you it was something stupid. I'm curious to see what it is I've been fighting for. I bet Wallet wouldn't mind if I take one little peek. Well, it sure doesn't look very impressive. Give me that package. No, give it to me. How about this? I'm not giving it to either of you. What's that? A cannonball or like a rock? Uh, yeah. So it's a housewarming gift. <laughs> what in the world? So it's like a black ball of some sort. Is, is that thing hiding the actual package inside it or what? So we got both vampires and werewolves after us right now. Okay. Who is the one that wants the package so badly though? Do you ever see a follow-up of this quest? I guess not. I think this is a one-off quest. Well, is there anybody that doesn't want this stupid package? Don't think so. Oh, there's more. Okay, now even undead after us. Of course. Oh, and this one has 5,000 over health. That's gonna be annoying. Bad to the bone. Wizards of Darkness have denied this poor soul eternal rest. The dark magics make this... Night as deadly as he is fast. Come on, how many are there? Oh wow, there's still quite a few more battles to go and some lengthy dialogue. Okay, yeah, this is certainly not a short quest. Undead Zard. Uh, there's two more. Afterwards, and then we get a ooh, we get a treasure chest. Okay, nice. So only two more battles after this one. Almost at the end now. It's already daylight, and I never even got got to sleep. Guess I better head on out to the palace and get this over with. So two. Okay, wait. Four battles, and it's daylight. Right. Wow. The city gets bigger all the time. Black commandant. Hold on a minute, aren't we already at the city? An armored superbly trained melee fighter with considerable combat experience. Black commandants are talented knights who chose to follow the elemental realm of darkness and now serve it by training black knights and commanding the forces of darkness in battle. Uh, we are literally right in front of the palace. Does the palace not have guards? Or are these like the palace guards? What the heck is going on? Draco Sword Mistress. Oh, maybe these are the palace guards. The Draco Sword Masters are an elite part of the Draco Enforcer squad. Highly skilled in melee combat and armed with a variety of deadly weapons. Okay, I hope we don't die now. I don't think we should, right? Ice is 84%, so let's see how hard it hits again. Okay, yeah, we are fine. Three, two, eight. Okay, there we are. Nice, welcome. <laughs> K, 
Can I help you? Who are you? I'm Del Chi. I serve the king. Do you attack all of the guests to the palace like that? Sorry, my friends, they were just a little too excited. I'm here on official business. I have a package to deliver from Warwick to King Trellin. Deliveries go around to the back. Hey, this is a very valuable and important gift from Warwick, the Archmage to King Trellin. It goes straight from my hands to the king's. Oh yeah, let me see it. Yeah, right, like I said, deliveries in the back. Ah, Korriban, how good to see you again. Thank you, King Chalin. I have a package for you from Wally. He says for the temple that's being built. Most kind of him and of you to take so much trouble to deliver it safely into my hands. Uh huh. Oops, sorry about that. The packaging was kind of messed up. The object rolled out into the corridor and down some stairs. Where do they go? They go all the way down into the Darkling Dungeon. We don't use it anymore, but it's still a scary place. And some say there are still monsters down there, hiding in the dark corners, waiting for an unsuspecting person to come by and, well, chomp. Chomp? Yes, chomp. Well, don't worry, I'll get it. Oh, wait. You stumble across an old treasure chest left here in the dungeon. No one will mind if you help yourself. Uh, okay. <laughs> what the heck? The thing is, how did the ball roll, like, even if it rolled all the way down, down the stairs, it should be literally, like, within sight, you know? Yeah, okay, there it is, nice. The object, it rolled behind the treasure chest. King Chalin, do you mind if I ask you something? Certainly, you deserve an answer or two after delivering such a precious object to me safely, in spite of the many obstacles put in your path. What is that thing? I mean, Wallach said it was very powerful and very important, but it sure doesn't look like much. Ah, and you think that to be valuable, important, and object must look impressive, do you, young hero? Well, I guess if you put it that way, no? Oh no, Wallach's gonna turn me into, into... I can't even imagine what he's going to turn me into for this. I just know it's going to be really, really bad. Or he'll just make you smell the salt. <laughs> be at peace, Kyra. Not everything that breaks was meant to be whole. Huh? It's a life that thing was an egg? Indeed, and inside is the most precious gift Wallach could give us. The place inside this, the temple and watch over its completion. It survived rolling down the stairs. That is a sturdy egg. What's that? It's a pizza. They are rare and precious beyond measure. It will be housed in the temple and kept for there. When it reaches its full size, it will have a nullifying influence on any weapon or spell that is brandished in its present. Oh! Oh, wow! Oh, okay. This is actually really cool, guys. Okay, I take back everything I said about that thing being <laughs> useless and all. Wow, that's interesting. Thereby allowing one and all who come to our temple to communicate with the gods in peace while under its influence. The temple will truly be a place for worship and contemplation. Why don't they just have one of these, like, literally in every town? <laughs> and be free from the politics and machinations of those who come seeking wealth or power or chaos rather than, the rather than enlightenment and unity and fulfillment. Is that why it had to be hand-carried across law on foot because it was close to hatching? Yes, indeed, you're smarter than you look. People that make that mistake a lot. Any other mode of transport could have disrupted the delicate processes going on inside the egg and rendered this baby pizza unable to function as it was meant to or worse. It might have chosen not hatch at all. of the dark forces that pursued you in your travels were attempting to keep the pizza from being delivered to the temple, thereby ensuring that chaos will be able to enter instead. You have done well. Now go, rest and refresh yourself, for the festivities will begin soon, and you will have a seat of honor at my table. Deltri, come see our friend is taken care of. Yes, your majesty. So you're going to show me to a nice suite where I can get a hot bath, sleep in a real bed, get room service. There's a pot out back, and I hear they just brought some fresh straw in for the buns. Hey, kidding, just kidding. <laughs> nice. Alright. Oh, actually, okay, this is actually quite a well-written quest. The only gripe that I have is, uh, where, who the heck is the mysterious figure in the black cloak and whatnot. Oh, put them in the daze, okay. Wow. Actually, quite a powerful Zard, if you think about it. The ability to, like, turn people peaceful and all that. Yeah, that's actually really cool. You know, they should really put one in battle on so we stop getting invaded. <laughs> Alright, so that's the end of this episode guys. Hope you guys have enjoyed the video. If you have, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. And of course, subscribe to this channel if you guys would like to see more of such future content. Till the next time, I'm your host, Corriban Gaming. Peace out. <laughs>